Ooh, you handle yourself pretty nicely, don't you, girl? Guess I don't call you a heavenly chariot for nothing. I had an inkling you'd pick up piloting to the Merkaba before long. Sorry to keep you all waiting. I finished scoping out the situation throughout the Empire. Wow, nice work, Toa. Already? That was fast. Let's check it out then. You guys come join us too. You got it. I'll just switch over to autopilot. I see, so security's been reduced over in northeastern Lemaire then. Uncle Zexon mentioned having the Third Armor Division patrol pulled back. Should be just enough for us to make it to Ulster and Raquel. That means they'll be stationed near Ordus instead. I doubt we'll be able to go back there for a while. Right, looks like they carried out these measures in response to yesterday's events. That said, Milsante falls out of their jurisdiction, so the area is still under heavy surveillance. We'd have a hard time heading over that way. I'm sorry, everyone. I tried to find this in opening the leaves. I really did. You've done a great enough job already, more than any of us could have asked. You've been a huge help, but you have both yesterday and today. In all honesty, you're putting even the, the Intelligence Division to shame. And you know what? Not one of us expected anything less. Thanks to you, Toa, handling the ship is going to be a breeze from here on. Mm-hmm, that's my Toa. I do love me a working woman. How about a little reward for the effort? The tune of, say, 20 kisses per hour. Angie, what's gotten into you? Yeesh, it's like it never even left. Heh. <laughs> Having a good chuckle there? Oh, sorry, I got lost in the moment for a sec. Just felt like our days back at the main campus. Yeah, I know what you mean. We'd always gather in the engineering building the tinker of Angie's bike. And Rene would come by and help carry out some test runs for us. I even left it with you after it all was said and done. Right, I gave it to Elise after that so Arif could use it as a development sample. Yeah, and then we had to track Angelica down on her cross continent tour for permission. So that's how it played out, eh? Wow, talk about a behind the scenes look. But where's the bike now? Yeah, who knew we'd manage to get the crew back together again? Well, not the whole crew. Ah. So, so the person who shot you in Himmel Cemetery, was it really? Yeah, it was George, no doubt in my mind. But... Georg, it would seem you've missed her vitals. I've come up with a way to make use of her. Using the mask, we can gain ourselves a pretty handy pawn. Oh, is that so? Very well. Do as you wish. Withdraw immediately, once you've collected your little puppet. This is where Angelica Rogner dies. If only for a time. Whether you wake from this nightmare is something only Adios can decide. Forgive me, Angie. I had no idea he said that. So that's what he meant when he said you died. <laughs> Not exactly the shining example of a heartless monster, is he? But I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I wasn't exactly lucid then, so for all I know, it was just a convenient delusion. So it's an unmistakable fact that he set the bomb on the Courageous. I think it goes without saying that a happy reunion is probably off the table. Yeah, especially with the rest of my time ticking away. Hmm. Pro. You can't just give up like that. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to try and make light of Crow's situation. But can you really look at us in the eye and tell us George is dead to you? There's even the slightest, remotest possibility of rebuilding your friendship. Isn't that more than enough to reason to keep hope? Exactly. We made a promise to bring you all together again, a promise that we failed to keep two years ago. And now we have Crow back, we might have another shot at making it happen. I will do whatever I can to help as well. Same here, I owe you guys after all. With all of us working together, I'm sure we can do it. You guys. Here we go. Well, you make a fair point. Bit too early to be throwing in a towel just yet. Can't argue with you there. Alright then, count me in next time you find some asses that need kicking. I've got some new martial arts skills I've been meaning to show off. Angelica. Can't wait to see them in action. I'll give everything I have too. In fact, I already put, got a ton of requests in from all over, so go check them out pronto. Cody Red. I recently read Erebonia 
from Remy Furia, and I was supposed to meet with a friend of mine who came here ahead of me. I haven't been able to get in contact with him, though, and I'm starting to worry about his well-being. Last I heard, he was heading for Raquel. Come meet me at the Hermit and Bar Inn, and I'll tell you all about it. Brandy recognition. Ulcer has always been famous for its locally produced brandy. There's so much demand for it right now that we can't keep up with all our orders. Even saying some of the used equipment we had lying around seemed like the perfect solution. But boy, oh boy, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. These machines are going to need some serious TLC before they're fit for use. If you think you can help me, uh, meet me at the old distillery. We're getting reports that a particularly dangerous monster has appeared near the West Lemaire Highway. Please find and slay this creature. Monster Skillamarme. West Lemaire Highway Bracer Guild. A request from Ulster, a person searching and yet another extermination request. Wait, who's this Kayla person? Remy Furia, could be one of those two we met at the lodge before? I've never met them myself. But I'd wager a resident this Duchess already has. Yeah, I bet you've got their profiles down pat by now. All states that one is from Remy Furia and the other, well, her circumstances are rather exceptional, you see. But I suspect it's exactly as you already may have guessed. Ah, I getcha. Well, if you're curious, all you have to do is respond to the request. We should go check on those new locations we can get to as well. Sounds good to me. Raquel opened up just in time. Could use the break after our orders, but, uh, but whatever. Does that mean? Yep, I'm gonna be your next watchdog, much as that bites. I'll be keeping a tight leash, so you'd best keep getting your shit together, Schwarzer. You can tell he's actually enjoying this. He would not be Ash otherwise. Oh boy, okay, Ash, I'll be counting on you. <laughs> You're one lucky guy, Reen. With that, let's prepare to set off once more. Ninety-nine. Hmm. Do you now visit Raquel Alcer's rest lodge and the surrounding roads? You can also challenge the wild areas of the Osgiliath Basin. Nerf free day. We don't have an actual em the official emblem yet, so we'll have to rely on her to use it to get that bird effect. Yeah, so I'll have to ha make sure she's the one who deals the breaking blow. The mana supply of the Divine Knights and Panzer Soldats seem to be stable at the moment. Ordinarily, though, this mechanism would have been used to activate the Merkaba's various armaments. Ah, I see. I have assumed two Divine Knights and four Panzer Soldats would require a serious amount of power. Oh, believe me, they do. That is exactly why we need the mana engine on the Merkaba. We actually even still have some energy to spare. We could fly another couple of Panzer Soldats if we wanted to. Wow, is there anything this ship can't do? Probably, I don't think it could carry a Goliath, could it? <laughs> well, how much? No, do, do Goliaths even have their own booster s systems like the others to fly? Probably not. Judging by how much the Merkaba can put out, I can only imagine what its battle capabilities are like. Hmm, we don't have the next tier yet, which is good because I don't have a whole lot of U materials. Actually, I don't think I even have enough to deal with the, uh, to upgrade the next set of equipment. No wait, we don't even get the next set of equipment yet. Huh. Strange, we probably would have had it by now. Maybe... Oh, there's bike colors. Pick these up real quick. There. Yes, no upgrades for now. It's gonna have to manage with what I have. Hold on, do I get... I was hoping they would sell me a, a non-EX version of Emblem. Make it easier for me to try to get item drops. Yeah, I'm gonna start bringing Angie to pretty much everything just so she can get more drops. Okay, I'm gonna go to the campsite real quick. Leonora and Herman, I think, her old comrade from the Silver Whale Naval Convoy. It seems like he's uh, mellowed out quite a bit. 
Instructor Reen, fancy seeing you here. I take it you're all back on the move? Yeah, sure went out of your way to come out here, huh? Honestly, this is just a happy coincidence. I take it you two got here on that bike. Look familiar? It's yours. We grabbed it and two others to make her get away when you were fighting in front of the Grawl. But they all ended up having their own share of problems, and in the end, we just kind of let them sit. That's when they came to me. God admit, I wasn't thrilled when Leonora asked me to fix them all up for free. But after all the trouble I've caused this gal, I wasn't about to tell her no. But I ended up asking a workshop tied up with Kleisen Co. to handle the repairs. They just finished them this morning. I wanted to make sure there weren't any more kinks to work out, so we took it out on a little test drive, and now here we are. Man, that's quite the story. And yet, an escape on the fleet of stolen motorcycles followed by a free tune-up sounds like a very Leonora adventure. Yeah, yeah, I'm just glad I I've done right by her now. I'll ship the other two bikes to you once I get back to the shop. They're all yours, Instructorine. Enjoy. I'd be happy to, but don't you think y you'd get more use out of them, Leonora? Eh, not really, to be honest. Besides, if I ever need a bike, I can just make Herman lend me one. Hey, says who? Ha! Huh. And so Reen and the others headed off to load the bikes onto the Merkaba. But bikes are harder to control, I feel like. I don't often have the luxury of spare time these days, but a little self-care now and then isn't such a bad thing, heh. <laughs> Looking out the ocean like this really brings back memories. I wonder if the old crew is doing alright. It's big. Let's be careful. Let's go full throttle! Oh, and that's sort of a whole lot of resources. Hmm. some spells. You won't escape. Let's go. Sorry, pretty bad. I'll support. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. It's my turn. Gale. Second form, Gale! Now! There! I shall go. That's what I wanted. A free chrono burst. Now. Scan you. Now. I shall go. Hey, coming at you full force. You ready for this? Dragon kick. Please have good drops. I shall go. I also have to make sure that when I break this thing, it's done with Angie's power. I shall go. Artyom heal. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. Hmm. Fire! Now! Here! Take this! Now! There! Leave it to me! Hmm. Howling heavens, how- please do not break! Okay, good. Just got AT delayed. I really need to give her an EP cut later. Now.
Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. My turn. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. I shall go. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I shall go. Okay, Artyom heal. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. It's my turn. Go. Let's go. Roar. <gasps> uh, healing strike. It's down. Here. Let's go. Hmm. Take this! Now! Here! Okay, I think... Now. I think if I just buff Angie one more time, I might be able to do it. Hmm. Yeah. Please break. Then I can get double drops. Yes! Give me the doubles. Oh no, it didn't even break that much. Are you kidding me? Gaius, it's you need to do something about this. Okay. Now. Hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. Okay, howling heaven, son. This is the power of the soaring phoenix. That did not delay by much healer. Now. Hmm. I shall go. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Now. Now. Our tomato shake. Oh, it's tasty. that's not bad. Hmm. My turn. Tasty. That's not bad. I shall go. I shall go. Hmm. Do we have any speed types here? Oh, oh I think I forgot to bring a speed type. My turn. Hey. Are you almost dead anyways? There. Now. There. Let's go. Uh, yeah. 
Let's go! Hey. Shit! It's down! There! I shall go. There! There! An opening! Let's do it! They just finish you off like this. Break! Oh, I fainted it too. The reason I did this one immediately was because I wanted to get the bonding point, but mainly reading my strategy. I see the eight leaves one blade still kicks ass. Not as much as your Taito moves, Angelica. I really wish I could take that emblem from her and put it on someone else. Yes, look at all those double drops. I need to keep getting better. Gale Storm 2 can now be used. That's how it's done. <laughs> nice. Right now I'll just return to the ship and do stuff there. Croto and Angelica, I don't want to enter. Reen, how long have you been there? You've just you've got that I don't want to interrupt look on your face. Please come join us. Yeah, grab a seat. Alright, if you insist. What were you guys talking about? We're trying to work out the logistics of mass producing orbital bikes. Between all the work Angie and Elisa have put in, it's looking like we could make it a reality. Guess all that testing is finally paying off. I gotta say, it feels good. I only wish George was here to see this. Yeah. But hey, there's always tomorrow. I get how he must feel, but we ha just have to force him to be honest with himself about who he really is, like you guys did for me. Bro. Yeah, let's get him back. We will, no matter what. Oh, also, I know I'm late to the party, but I picked up Vantage Masters. I'm hoping to beat Crow, so what do you say you and I have a practice match when you've got some time? Now, of course, it's a for good cause after all. Well, let's get this thing started. Ugh. How things start for me. Hmm. Damn it, I, I put Feeptals in my deck to help me heal, but they aren't cut. They're probably at the bottom. I need. Uh, I may have to restart and reshuffle. Seriously, Emil Thomas is such a. Thomas is pretty OP.
I cannot maintain a field advantage at all. I can't even draw Fiefnol. Finally. It took literally forever for Fiefnol to show up. Okay, seriously. Hmm. Heal you. Just gotta last long enough to deck her out, and I'll have a chance. It's built my defenses a bit. Now I need to slowly eliminate these guys. Honest has shown up yet again. At this point, the beasts will not draw any more cards, huh? I might as well have you kamikaze or something. Play your last buffet card. Ouch. That was your last buffet card. Ugh. Anyways. Time to just whack you to death, slowly and painfully. You've literally played every card in your deck and I have exhausted them all. The rules don't say anything about the enemy getting to, uh, getting to win automatically if they get to zero cards, right? Yep, no, she just, she just gets to sit there and wait for me to whack her to death. Okay. Hmm. 
just want to heal up the bard. Seriously, it took forever for the females to show up, but they're actually surprisingly powerful once you get them on the field to heal you. Damn, I knew you'd give me a challenge. You met times three. Hey, Reen. Hello, instructor. Hi, guys. Kurt, were you two talking about General Zex? Yes, guys was telling me about how he first met my uncle. Oh right, the time when the troops of the Zender Gate got cornered by those wolf monsters. He rode right into their midst like some kind of gallant knight, Gaius. Oh, you've got a good memory, Reen. Looking back on it now, they probably didn't need my help all that much. I just got a little carried away when Zeo raised the alarm. Now that's the side of the story I haven't heard before. It's kind of weird that Zek's nephew would end up in the same class you've been part of. It must be fate or something. Or perhaps the will of the winds. Two fifty years ago, Roland Vander and Prince Dreykols deepened their relationship with the Warriors of Nord. As you said, Instructor, I do feel there's a mysterious connection there. Instructor Rina, I hear you s you've started playing Palm Party. I'd be honored to play against you if you have the time. Or, or if you prefer Vantage Masters, I'm familiar with that as well. Thanks, Kurt. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for this match. Was with this hand. Okay, Zamel Pen. Kamikaze with his XAML pen, maybe? Getting such horrible draws today. It's like I didn't shuffle my deck early enough.
Why are all my blaze cards here? That makes no sense. Just gonna load, load these up on carrier belt or and bard so that the paladin will still suffer massive damage. I managed to turn things around a bit. I need to get rid of the parent cell. I've managed to maintain an advantage again. Okay. Ah, uh, I've lost. All the new class 7 students are just so strong. Where the hell are all my shining palms? Did I use them all up already? Unbelievable. Finally! Shining Palm. Please tell me you can't survive it. Lost. Ugh. That's it for mini games for now. Really? Milliam said that? Yeah, she was hoping we could make it to Gara. Hey guys, what's this about Milliam? Instructor Reen, Eustace was just telling me Milliam wanted to make something special to surprise me. Uh, and um, giant pancake. She showed me a basic blueprint she drew up for it. It was supposed to be two arch long across the middle. 
I tried to tell her there wasn't a grill in Erebonia big enough to cook something that size, but she, she said she that meant she just uh, that just meant she'd have to make a giant pan too. <laughs> That's so like her. Maybe hire McBurn for this. Yeah, classic Milliam, always dragging people into her weird schemes. But it really isn't a bad idea. With Clem Solias's power, casting a giant grill isn't entirely out of the question. Now you come up with some pretty bold ideas yourself, Altina. It does sound like it'd be fun to try out. You're working the counter today? Do you, did you cook often when you were in the village? I did. Grandma was a picky eater, and she can't be bothered to do things she thinks are troublesome, after all. Before Vita left, we used to take turns cooking. I can't really imagine Vita doing that. Now, she's actually better with housework than she comes across. We'd come up with recipes together so Grandma would ha have to eat a properly balanced diet. Wow, I see. What would you like? Hmm. Second West Zamoria Trade Conference. An official announcement has been made regarding the date of the Second West Zamoria Trade Conference. Discussion of this end began two months ago, but had to be put on hold to the incidents in July. Chancellor Osborne and Governor General Rufus will be presiding over the conference, where existing agreements will be reaffirmed. This time, the event will be hosted in Heimdall instead of Crosswell City. Each country, with the exception of Calvert Republic, is expected to send representatives. Page 2. According to foreign sources, Samuel Rocksmith, the current president of Calvert, has lost in the recent election to his opposing candidate. Rocksmith's proposed economic and immigration policies are to blame for the drop in his popularity ratings. However, due to the emergency measures taken in the late but in light of the coming war, he's expected to remain novice for another six months. Military ban cavalry leave for front line. An official ceremony was held on the afternoon of August 21st in Dreykull's Plaza to see off the military ban and Imperial cavalry units leaving for the war front. The lauded Lair unit's youngest private led the ceremonial address in a quivering voice, professing his resolve to fight for Arabonia. The attending crowd erupted in spirited applause, ending the ceremony on a high note. Disturbance in Ordis. An incident took place in the, at the Cayenne Mansion in Ordis that resulted in some damage to the building. The official account is that there was a problem with the old sewers underneath the mansion. Governor Regnus assures the public that it was merely an accident, but the 3rd Armored Division has been moved to Ordis as a safety precaution in case the rebel group is responsible. Encounter with the Unknown. The town of Milsante is known for its scenic views, resplendent natural atmosphere, and tourist taverns serving fantastic freshwater fish. But lately, the talk of the town is that something, uh, is something else entirely. Rumors swirl that a strange creature is living in Lake Gala. A local girl was the first to see it a few weeks ago. She glimpsed a giant tail whipping around in splashing water. Residents of Milsante have named the creature Gali, but what it is and where it really exists remains a mystery. What is the meaning of this? Why are there so many portrayals of gentlemen embracing? Heh, <laughs> welcome to our world. Is that one of Dorothy's books? Good eye, Instructorine. I had no idea there was such lascivious literature out there. Further, what exactly are you teaching young women at your school? Believe me, this is not part of the curriculum. I split through it because she said it was a good book for relaxing, but hmm. I knew it, I can't bring myself to read this. You should introduce Arian Road and the stall writer to it. Even Dubli can't resist the magnetic pull of her curiosity, it would seem. Oh, but she won't make a fine addition to our special circle of enthusiasts. <laughs> Elliot and Machias, you guys training? Yes, we may not be fighters, but it never hurts to stay in good shape. Even being a musician requires a lot of stamina. It's not as demanding as Machias' work, but I still thought I ought to get in a little exercise. Ah, good thinking. This reminds me of that time Sarah and Nightheart really put us all through the ringer. Oh man, that's right. At the time, I thought I was going to keel over and pass out, but looking back on it now, it actually feels pl pleasantly nostalgic. The Manway Method. Yes, Reen was the only one who actually won one of the five rounds. Everyone else got uh, bodied by Laura and Fee. Good, it seems the autopilot function is working fine. You can leave the rest in Angelica's capable hands. Now, I'm worried about Unit 2. I'm just about to disembark and check up on it. Ah, well, thank you so much for all the help you've given us. Ah, you're too kind. I'm merely doing my job. But I'm glad I got to see you again. I've been hoping our paths would cross. It's so nice to be reunited with Toa and Angelica. 
Having them on board just makes life on the ship so much easier. More locations have been confirmed safe, so we may want to do some more intel gathering. That being said, we also have more confirmed Jaeger sightings, so we'll have to be careful. Will they show up as random encounters? Just don't, don't take any ra chances, chances out there, Reen. Hmm. If anything, Fee, you really are amazing. You're always so focused. You know exactly what you need to do to get stronger, and you pursue that goal wholeheartedly. Uh, sure. Isn't it the same for you, Laura? I wish it was. Laura looks a little downhearted. I wish I was old enough for us to go drinking. Wait, brought us on. Dara always said hitting up the bar is a great way to help your friends when they're down. I see. And I look forward to the day we can go for a drink together. Sometimes I forget how great a friendship these two have. It's not just a matter of affection, there's also a really deep level of trust between them. If the security in Northeast Lemaire is on the lighter side, we should be able to make it to Raquel. I was thinking of going back home when I get the time, cleaning up the place a bit. Barely even had time to wipe down the counter or two last time I snuck in. I see, you had to wear a disguise back then, didn't you? Even the Imperial Defense Force is withdrawing, the two of us are still wanted. We need to exercise full caution. If I know that, what, you think I'm, I was born yesterday or something? The only time I ever visited Ash's old home was during our field exercises. Maybe I should change that. Consume. Hey Ash, what do you say we head over sooner rather than later? I can pitch in with the cleaning, too, if it's just a room or two. What, you think little baby Ash can't handle his own chores or something? More than that, I doubt we'll end up getting any, uh, getting that much spare time anytime soon. The way things are going. Plus, it'd take almost no time at all if we headed there via Valimar. I guess I ought to go now, while the option still stands. Uh, well, no use griping about it. Let's try it, Schwarzer. What if we have to fight a bunch of Solots on the way? Just the two of us. Two of them head to Ash's home in Raquel. They began tidying up. Well, that looks much better. I heard that it had been cleaned up before, but there was still a lot of dust here. Oof, it looks like the guys who have been laying themselves in to clean have all been busy lately. I guess it can't be helped with the war so close. That's definitely true. Things should be about to finish up with your help. I suppose I have to thank you or something. Eh, well, you're welcome. And what's that in the back? Hey, you shouldn't just go around touching other people's stuff. Wait, just what the heck is... Looks like it was hidden in the back of the bookshelf. Is it a black record? It's a diary? Let me see that. Is it his mom's diary? No way. Mom must have been keeping a diary in secret. So it was your mom's. Wait, you never noticed it before? I already read most of the books here, so I haven't touched the shelves in a long time. The last entry is from over 10 years ago. I guess mom also forgot about it. Flip, flip, ugh, all she writes about is me. It's like she's trying to embarrass me from the past. Heh. <laughs> Wait, this? What's wrong? Ash shows Reen one of the pages from the old diary. He decided to drop by the club today on his way back from selling his wares. I guess he earned some good money. He pushed Samira into my hand and said it was for the kid. Then he drank. I think he still feels guilt over leaving Ash with me. I feel like I should thank him. I often think about how happy this child has made me. I keep telling him he should at least stay longer, but he always says he's a good for nothing. He won't visit and he won't listen to a thing I say. Ash, is this? Huh, she didn't write a name. Must have been that long legged guy who'd come by Mom's work every so often. Didn't remember his name. I always just called him Slims. The merchant who picked me up after what happened 14 years ago. You mean. I never heard a thing about him since. I assume he died. According to the diary, he helped out with Mira every now and then. Or at least when he made some money on one of his trips. That doesn't sound very sincere. Seems like he had some regrets over how he handled my situation. I gotta say, I'm curious about his story. <laughs> It'll probably boil down to him just doing things out of guilt for pushing me on mom like the diary says. Ash. If you want to do something about it, just say the word. And I'll do whatever I can to find this traveling merchant. I appreciate it, but this is personal. This doesn't involve you. But don't you want to know the details of your past? Look, I understand how you feel. For a long time, there was a whole part of me I knew nothing about. It was hard learning the truth, but because I did, I can see a future now. Surely this is a step to putting things right. Well... Start by knowing yourself, huh? 
Look at you, you go getter. Sure, I'll take you up on your offer. Maybe play along and be the teacher's pet for once. Great, glad to be on board. Two of them finished tidying up and then decided to return to the Merkaba. A traveling merchant, I mean, it's possible. Well, I'm sure there'll be an opportunity at some point. I want to track down that merchant who picked me up. I'm going to need that nosy personality of yours too. Better not bail on me, Shorzer. Of course, just let me know when you want to head out. I mean, it should be possible if... Hey, why you know, is that an academy textbook I see? Could you be studying? Oh, come on, instructor. I may be at carefree, but I've still got my responsibilities as a student, you know. With all these new places to go and members of Old Class 7 around, I thought I'd take the chance to review what I learned back at the branch campus. For now, I've been looking into where Crosswell might be able to regain its independence once this whole crisis is dealt with. This is some pretty dense stuff, though. I can already feel my brain melting away. Seriously. You really are something, Yuna. No matter how dire things get, you always find a way to look ahead. Well, I've gotta be good at something, I guess. You've got some time in your hands, right, Instructor? Maybe if you could join me. If you're up for it, I mean. You know, studying so hard. Maybe I should stick around for a bit as an instructor. Well, maybe I can help you sort out your thoughts while I'm here. Two heads are bound to be better than one, right? That's true, I think I'll take you up on that. Reed and Yuna then began looking at the possibility of future independence from Crossbell, debating the details and adjusting their points. Thing is, most countries don't want to give up their territory under any circumstances, so that's going to be a long shot. The subject was a difficult one, with many disparate elements to consider. Crossbell's earlier declaration as an independent state, the imperial occupation, and so forth. Everyone joined in, huh? Eventually, even Musa and the old Class 7 joined the discussion, each contributing their own takes on the matter from an international framework. Oh, that was just what I needed. I was finally able to clear my head a bit, thanks to you and Muse and everyone else from old Class 7. I should have guessed there'd be some challenges to Crossbell regaining its independence after all. Unfortunately so. Crossbell's reputation as the City of Sin and Dieter Kreuz's actions won't be forgotten anytime soon. Not to mention the rest of the corruption that infested its government, and the countless terrorist attacks that happened in the shadows. But that was also pressed thanks to Governor General Rufus, so that, that, that's also something to consider. It's so complicated. Even if we survive all this end of the world stuff, we'll st we still have a massive pile of problems to solve. I feel like I finally get it now, what line the errors are fighting for. Independence isn't something that can be won easily, not even close, but they st still give it all they've got. At the very least, we need to at reverse the Empire's policies concerning the uh, concerning the uh, uh, the downtown district. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. And what about you, Yuna? Are you planning to give up with all these obstacles blocking the way? What? No, never! Even if we were a part of Barabonia now, we'll always be Crossbell. We take pride in that. Of course, I know we've lost our home in a physical sense. But if the people of Crestwell can find a way to stay true to themselves, we'll never lose that pride. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe there is a way for Crestwell and Erebonia to coexist together. If both sides hold, uh, hold their heads high, I'm sure it will carve out the path between us. Yuna. I think you, I think you might have just stumbled on a hint to all this. You've grown so much since we've started. It's incredible. Jeez, he's so much sometimes. Uh, or I guess old habits die hard. <laughs> well, I mean, of course I have. After all, I've learned more in Class 7 than I ever could have imagined. And, um, it may not be obvious, but I'm actually the kind of girl who thrives on positive reinforcement, <laughs> you know? I see. Let's keep doing it all we've got, you know. I'm behind you every step of the way. Wait. What's gotten into me? I'm not... That's strange. I? I didn't see a heart event for this one. Did I? Aw, 
Almost five stars. Away for Crossbow and Erebonia to coexist in peace. Right now I have no idea how that can be achieved. But I believe in a future where both countries can keep their pride. That's what I'm working towards, so watch over me, okay? Uh, Alright. Meow. Hey Celine, getting some s good snoozes in, I see. You and Emma kept an eye on Angelica for us last night, right? Yeah, we were worried the mask might have left her with some after effects. What if she's a Manchurian agent and backstubs us at the last moment? It ended up being completely fine, but it just goes to show how capable a Black Workshop really is. You're telling me, you know, there were a lot of facilities or headquarters that I've never seen before. That was that's just, a t that's just the tip of the iceberg. You can expect there'll be a big threat moving forward, we can't let our guard down with them. Celine's been an invaluable asset to us, this might actually be a good opportunity. Not to change the subject, but can you come down to the surface with me later? I'd like to, you to, get, to, I'd like to get you something special from over in par around Parm. And what's gotten to you? Since when do you invite me out to places? I was just thinking I hadn't properly thanked you for all that you did for me back at the Black Workshop. I've actually been meaning to, to since way back during the Civil War. I say I'm long overdue for that by now, right? I told you, it was all just part of the mission, but I guess you'll f throw a fuss no matter what I say. Well, far be it for me to turn you down. Just make sure you pick out something nice. Reen and Celine headed to Parm to find a suitable gift. They went around visiting shops and stalls selling accessories made with the spinning town's famous artisan dyed fabrics. After a while, they decided to stop by the inn for a break, where they had some snacks and farm fresh milk. Then they continued their search, but were unable to find a suitable gift. As their hopes began to wane, they decided to check one more place, the General Store's clothing section. It was there that Reen's gaze fell onto a certain something. Is it going to be one of those swe uh, sweaters that people somehow put their cats in? Sorry to keep you waiting, Celine. What took you so long? I had to explain to the shopkeeper what I was looking for. Got this made to order. Meow? A new ribbon. And a collar? That's... When I saw all those beautifully dyed fabrics, I immediately thought of getting you a new ribbon. And while the shopkeeper was making one for me, I found a matching choker too. Looks good on you. Yeah, thanks a lot. The pink looks pretty great against my black fur. Right? I knew you'd like it. It should suit you when, when you're in your other form, too. Just don't expect me to make a habit of shape-shifting. It's, it's for special occasions only. For someone as clueless about social interactions as you, this was very thoughtful. Heh. <laughs> what is it? I was just thinking, we've known each other for a long time, haven't we? Remember the first time we spoke? It was during the Civil War. We piloted Valmar together. Now we joke around with another, and you've even seen my human form. Now, I've never expected our friendship would bloom like this myself. I'm really glad it did, though. Thank you for being such a good friend, Celine. Knock it off, you're making too much of a deal of it. I don't want to have regrets later about things left unsaid. No telling if we'll, we'll get to hang out like this again, considering the situation. It may have sounded cheesy, but I was being sincere. Reen. You know, I'm not good at this touchy-feely stuff, though. Are right, you things you make me do? You're such an idiot, Reen. So this rib, so this ribbon's uh, what a goodbye gift in case we never see each other after this. You don't seriously think this scrap of cloth is enough to pay me back for everything I've done over the years, do you? Huh? Don't imagine for a second that I'm going to let you get away with this. I'm going to get you f for this. You think you're all that, huh? Huh? Selene, am I? I'm not perfect by any means. I have my bad habits, and you're always quick to point out fa fa other failings of character I have. It's great you do that. You're helping me become a better person, so thank you again. Oof, I consider you a work in progress. You're still a diamond in the rough, but I'll make you shine one day. One more thing. I've also benefited, fr benefited from our friendship, so I'd like to thank, um, let you know you're not entirely useless. Were you just about to thank me? 
You wish. What, what I'm trying to say is you owe me, and maybe in some mi very minor ways, I owe you too. So stick around until we're even. Got it? <laughs> All right, that sounds good to me. The ribbon really does look pretty on you. Stop trying to get on my good side after making me so angry. Reed and Selene were then discovered by a group of curious children who started asking about her ears and tail. The two quickly slipped out of town and headed back to the ship. Wow, you're already you're, you're at four stars. Alt color ribbon. Thank you, Selene, for earlier. I know you don't don't like being in human form, so I'm really grateful for what you did for me. Just think of it as payment for the choker and ribbon you gave me. I'm gonna take good care of those, by the way. But you better not complain if you don't see me wearing them every day, got it? I got it, I got it. No, that's no good either. I wonder if here might... Elisa, where are you up to? Oh, Reen. I was just thinking of giving my EXA some proper maintenance. So I'm trying to find a good spot somewhere down on the surface. The EXA was RF's version of the Liberolian Orbital Gear, right? That's the one. It folds up pretty nicely, and it's fine in the hold, but it's actually using uh, uh, actually using it takes up a lot more space. We have the maintenance kit and everything, so anywhere outdoors would work just fine. I see. Maybe I should help Elisa search for a good location. I could let her handle the equipment too. Yes, it also gives her a heart for some reason. Will you mind if I helped out with the search? I could lend a hand or two with the equipment too. Uh, this could be the chance I was waiting for. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Thanks for offering, Reen. You mind if I take you up on it? Reen and Lisa consulted their radars and maps to try and find a suitable location. They soon headed off to one of the more promising candidates, out of view of the public eye. So this is the route Yuna and the others took to Ulster last time, huh? We're outside of the main road here. We should be able to work in peace. We can always escape with Elmer if things go south. Guess we should get started. Can I see that manual? Sure thing, here. Number four. Looks like you managed to follow the instructions all right so far. I'm surprised. I thought you didn't work on maintenance or the projects and management side of things. I assume you picked it up along the way. Well, I'm still nothing compared to Tita. T uh, I figure it's kind of silly to be working in this industry if I don't understand what's going on at the ground level. Especially if I wanted to be able to do something about the destruction caused by Orville weaponry. I did my best to revise this manual so that it's easier for the average consumer to do their own maintenance. Wow, that's seriously impressive, Elisa. You've really worked hard to make it this far without relying on your mother's or her connections. No help from Sharon this time either, huh? Right, although I now I wish I did have her here for different reasons. Elisa. Say, Reen? What is it? When you offered to help me out today, I was really happy. For a second, I actually thought about turning you down. But in the end, I fought better of it. There's nothing I need to say. Huh? Reen. I love you. Since the day we met, I've known you were the only one for me. Elisa, I... Sorry for springing this on you, I just had to get out in the open. So I can bury these feelings deep in my heart after getting some closure. So, is this about your dad? Yes. First my mom decides to cooperate with the government to make all these crazy Panzer soldats and weapons of war. Then the woman who's been like a sister to me all my life has turned against us. Elisa. And finally, it turns out my dad's still alive and that he's involved with the Curse of Arabonia. Next, your grandpa's gonna turn out to be the next Anguis or something. Altina and Milliam have suffered so much, all because of my family. And you've been forced to carry such a huge burden. I can't help but feel responsible, and it's just too much. I'm really sorry. First, I tell you that I love you, and then I take it back. That's why I need things to go back to the way they were. I need to be able to focus on helping you, just as a friend. I don't want to waste energy on clinging to some hopeless dream. So please, let's just... Elisa. Alright, I understand. If that's how you feel, I won't push you. But please, Elisa, just keep this in mind. 
I'm grateful you want to be there for me, but if you ever need me for anything, I hope you'll let me be there for you too. And at the end of the day, I'm so glad you told me how you feel. Okay. Thank you. Right now, that'll have to be enough for me. Alright, let's get back to work. There's still plenty both of us need to do. We can't slow down now. Elisa, yeah, you're right. Elisa and Reen finish up their repairs and return to the Merkaba. Although their feelings were hard to put into words, they still parted ways with a smile. Sp share a special moment with Elisa. Huh? Where's she now? Still in the Orbital Factory. Green. Thanks again for earlier. The EXA is completely ready thanks to you. Just wait until you see it in a real battle. I can't wait. So you can activate multiple hearts at the same time. Since I still have Fee's heart, unless getting one person's heart takes away another's. Nope, they're both hearts. Where are those flowers for, Instructor Sarah? Oh, these just a little errand of mine is all. I'm planning on heading down to the service for a little bit. You can just reach me on my Arcus if you need me. I'll be sure to catch up with you guys right away. Sure thing. What can we should be doing with a bunch of flowers? The imagination runs wild. My hunch is right. Hmm. Sorry if I'm getting the wrong idea, but... Are those flowers for your father? Oh right, we did talk about that, didn't we? That battle was what set me onto the path of becoming a bracer. Today's actually the anniversary of his death, right in the middle of all our operations. I see. Hey, Instructor Sarak, I don't mean to be a bother, but... So the Aragon Mine is just up ahead, huh? That's right, noble families and heavy industry leaders have been fighting over the mining rights here for years. They never got the, uh, get their hands dirty, of course. They've got the Northern Jaegers and Needhog for that. Unlike Saxon, the RF group has very little influence over Aragon. At least that's the, the way it was eight years ago. A lot of people are interested in this place. The Imperial Army, the Provincial Army, the Noble and Reformist factions. Things really started heating up when it looked like the fighting would reach the town itself. That's why my squad got ambushed by Needhog. I always thought we were be the better fighters, but... Sarah. The noble family that hired us isn't even around anymore, and the company that was paying Needhog went out of business too. So much can change in just a few years. Huh? Is it another Jaeger? Well, well, look who we got here. Need hug, Jaeger corpse. Your need hug. Where's what's going on here? Northern Jaegers. They're still operational, huh? I heard you were working together, but it's kind of hard to believe. Everyone's pals now that you're all Imperial dogs. Is that it? Call it what you want. It's only temporary. But don't get the wrong idea, we're not here to fight. Not today. Are you here to pay respects to Sarah's father? Huh? All of us hold Colonel Valestine in the greatest regard. We won't forget, uh, ever forget what he did for us. We might fight for the Empire now, but we want to at least pay our respects. We lost good men and women on that day too. Since we're supposed to be allies now, we figured we could put aside our differences and come here to remember who have passed those who have passed. I see. Looks like we misjudged you. I should have expected this from one of the most elite Jaeger corps in existence. Makes sense you have some pride. Heh, <laughs> don't sweat it. We'll go make our offerings now. Don't worry, we, don't, we didn't skimp. It's good stuff. What the? This presence. Green, you think? Yeah, they're coming. Huh? I didn't think there was a fight here. 
Oh, come on. Why does it have to grow here of all places? Well, it's not a boss monster. We can take these guys. What? Hostile spirits. Quick, get out of the way. Get out of here. Go. What the heck? Do we have to fight both sides now? Dang it, you guys are supposed to be elites. You're supposed to use your plot 7 to resist everything. No, it hurts. Curse you all. How can you lose so easily here? Why? Why do we have to die out here, so far from home? There. No way, their spirits have been here the whole time? Uh, war! Rug! Uh, uh, a zombie apocalypse. The Great Twilight again. This, this is the last thing we need. Why did it have to happen today of all days? Reen, we'd better... He's using it in a controlled state now, uh, it, this time, but he never does it when we put in gameplay. Wait, your powers of the sacrifice are attracting them. Reen, stop it! We can't just let them wipe everyone out. I'm fine, I promise. Just take the arrows and get out of here. Oh no, we forgot his name again. Reen, crap, I didn't, get, I didn't have an evasion set up on her. I may have to reload. Pant, whew. Where the heck was that just now? Fall back, all of you. This isn't the kind of enemy you can deal with. But we can't just, just sit back and watch. Listen to me, you'll only get in the way. You might, have, might even get possessed again. I need to get my student back. I can't let anything interfere with that. Fine, but don't you dare die, Sarah. Sh Shupe, retreat. Good luck, Purple Lightning. I know she can cast that on herself, but still, this is inconvenient. I know this isn't the time or place, but I can't help, uh, feel, uh, can't help feeling kind of pumped. Dad, lend me your strength. I can do this. I'm the Purple Lightning, A Ring Bracer, Imperial Guild member, instructor of the old Class 7. I'm Sarah Valside. Here I go. Bring it on! Okay, this is gonna be a really tough one. Lightning! There it is! Yeah! So let's use lightning charge again to get my stats up a bit higher. Like I got this! Die! <laughs> There it is! Okay. So now we're ne- I need to- so I need to- Yes, I need to somehow get him a little bit lower and then hit him with an S-Craft, huh? Shit, I forgot to scan him. It's my turn! Yeah. See if I can do this. Can I spare a normal attack? Yes, I can. Let's do that to- Okay, now I must use my S-Craft to finish this and kill him before he kills me. Yeah, just, just out of curiosity, how much do you have? Okay, fully scanned you, gone berserk. His S-Craft for some reason has all canceled all the bells and whistles on it. So, so I have to finish it now. It's literally... I don't think I'd be able to survive without using that one pecky accessory that increases my hit points. Even Elementine Guard won't help. Yes! A decisive victory. Why is the cutscene the same? I literally memed him. Ugh! I, I literally timed everything perfectly in order to finish him off with my S-Craft. Gah! I always knew you had potential. You've really grown these last three years, Reen. Why can't he all cancel when he's a party member? Sorry, Dad, please forgive me. Erg? 
It's okay, Reen. I'm here. I'll accept you no matter what. So come on. You have so many people in your life to come back to. Shut the hell up! Huh? Gar. Huh? Reen! Get back! Erg, er! Gur! Why? Pant, pant. Stop it, don't you know what will happen if you keep pushing yourself like that? I could say the same to you. Huh? You're going to stop me? I have people that need me? What gives you any right to say that to me when you're planning to throw your own, away your own life? You're not your father, Sarah. You don't have to do what he did. He wouldn't want that. No one does. You know that, right? But I... I mean, and besides... You're just as important to me as the others. I don't want to do this if you're not here with me. Huh? Reen, that's so like him. The cutscene is supposed to be the same Sorry. if you lose, but I, I didn't want to lose. Me, I'll admit. Please, Reen. Don't cry. I'm not crying. I'm just so, so glad you're all right. I'm so sorry. Eh, boy, you sure are a problem, child. I can't take my eyes off you for a second, can I? Exhausted from their battle, Reed and Sarah collapsed next to each other. After resting a while, they returned to the ship to gather string a, a very, a very few words along the way. So I have some way to pay my respects. Look at these poor things. I have to think of something else. I'm instructor. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. No, it's okay. I appreciate you coming, Reen. It meant a lot to me. Huh? What I'm saying is, I'd love you to, for you to come with me again next time I try. If it's not too much trouble, I mean. Ah. Of course, I'd be happy to. Bottom Sir strengthened. Share a special moment. That was really intense. He had permanent buffs and all, and he, for some reason, all cancel. Hey, so, what happened back there? Let's just say we're both at fault, okay? Getting involved with you can really drive a girl crazy. Instructor, you doing okay? Hey, just forget I said anything. Ugh. So, should be li listen extra. Reen again. Level 99 even stronger than before. Ugh. Also, I think I have some gift items in my inventory I should give away real quick. Hmm, free stylish anklet. Q2. I thought it'd suit you. I hope you like it. Yeah, definitely. I just wasn't expecting a gift like that. Oh, you got my size right. It's nice and comfy to wear. Thanks, Rain. I'll really treasure this one. I'm glad I could get you something like that. That's something you like. That's maxed out, but her hearts are not maxed out. Oh, Reen, real fencing gloves. That's right, they're the same type I use. I've noticed you use gloves too, and I thought you might want to try out a different kind. Oh, I see. Well, I'll be sure to make good use of them. But once I start making my mirror myself, I'd like to return a favor. Heh, <laughs> you and your sense of obligation. Don't feel pressure to get me anything soon, but if you want to surprise me with a gift one day, I won't say no. Also, this is a setup I had for Sarah. I used Gungnir because I knew if it combined with Rage, it would deal some pretty good damage. Priest by 110%, combined with Sirius, that's even more. That will give me an advantage even with Demon Reign super buffs. Still, I can't believe they gave his S-Craft all cancel. Ugh. Had to look for the perfect timing. 
And if that didn't work, I would have to try to look for another opportunity, but with the Minotauros Master Quarks. Entering the hot spring with Angelica and three other girls will t to trigger a sub event. Do they have to be in the main party, or could could I like put in six girl? No, I I can't actually put in six girls because two uh, of the slots are locked to guys. Okay. Enter. Reading the earth enjoyed the hot springs and took their time resting in the village. By some stroke of fate, an unexpected combination of people ended up soaking in the springs together. How m they would have to plan a lot of different conversations around this. Uh, who knew that, par uh, that paradise would be tucked away right here with all these angels to shelter me from the bleak world outside? This party really can't get st uh, started without Toa. She needs to come over here, or I'll regret it my whole l life long. Her excitement goes beyond what feels appropriate for the situation. She's not the picky type, that's for sure, but I doubt I'm her top choice. Why is she looking at me like that? It reminds me way too much of Shirley. Yeah, we get it. You're on cloud nine over there. Don't make it, it doesn't make much sense to me when you're not so bad looking yourself. Unless you really do sw only swing that way. Is that it? Come on, you can't just ask that, Ash. Oh, Ash, I guess your silly little boy brain hasn't put two and two together yet. Come again? Cute girls and beautiful women are the treasure of this empire. All of Zemuria, even. It doesn't matter where you're a man or a woman. It take, just, just takes class to appreciate Adios' finest masterpieces. Each and every one of them. There's nothing better than cozying right up close to them with only the tiniest little towel to come between you. Heh, <laughs> heh, Oh, I don't want to know what she's picturing in her head right now. Her mind seems to be permanently in the gutter. Alright, I think we've heard enough of that laugh for one lifetime. I think I'm going to stay out of this one. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I remember inviting her to your mirror in my school days, and then sh and she made just as much of a splash back then. Hey Angelica, you traveled all the way uh, all around the continent on your bike, didn't you? I'm guessing your definition of sightseeing was to take in Adios' finest masterpieces over anything else, right? Something to matter, Angelica? Hear me out. Sure enough, where wherever I went, I find myself surrounded by sweet girls. Sounds just perfect, yeah? Or I fall so far. Yeah, go ahead and brag. But every time I start to make my move, some boyfriend or concerned family member would get in the way. They chase me out of town and I have to move on to the next place, without a proper goodbye from any one of those sweet girls. How could fate be so cruel to me? Where is Adios when innocent people like me have to suffer terrible injustice and heartbreak? Adios was probably looking out for all the guys you were trying to steal girlfriends from. Sounds like divine punishment to me. Unity rating increased for some reason. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.